plastic magnifying sheets and came up with another way of doing the same thing uh, using the sheet right here. It set the city up, a little cutout of the city, and now I've got the big magnifying glass sheet. Bring the camera right up to the lens. See, that's the normal view of the city. Now let's back up again. The science is the same of that of a lens. Here's a simple example. So if you're looking at at uh, Chicago here. The atmosphere really is like acting like a lens. Yes. Atmosphere really is acting like a lens. And this is how much of the city is missing due to the lensing effect, the magnification uh, of the atmosphere. You're, you're, you're missing you know, a good portion of the city just by pulling my iPhone back on a three foot long desk. That's how much I lost of the city. And as with uh, any scientific experiment, you always try to improve upon what you did before. So uh, I got some foam core, made a little housing for the uh, magnifying sheet, and pasted the city on the back there. And I made it as two separate pieces so that I could uh, flex it as necessary because I think that there are different types of atmospheric conditions that would al allow for more magnification versus less magnification. So in this scenario, you have more magnification and in this one you have less and for this one I decided to put the Toronto skyline into my little box here and let's try it again okay we're all the way up against the glass now let's zoom across the lake and wow look at that the lower portions start to disappear now let's zoom back in to get a little closer to the one that uh, Captain Baltard was talking about here and wow, look at this. Here's his image on the right, and here's my image on the left. Missing lower portions of the city had nothing to do with curvature whatsoever. And this, of course, is my answer to the meme that you've all seen being passed around on Facebook showing the missing part of buildings is absolute proof of the curve. No, not really.